What up, invaders? Chris here with another Mass Defect, Mass Effect and Drama, Part 2, Star Trek, Universe, DC Online. <laughs> Last time we left off, we uh, just got back on the ship, and we were going to the, I guess, Citadel kind of thing here. Let's jump right in here. Okay, Captain Ryder. Crew. The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. This should have been my father's moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're going to do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. to see some friendly faces this time the nexus runs a support crew just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the arcs means we can start waking our people up they built a bar right gotta have champagne for the welcome party you're expecting one after what we've been through i could use a buzz we all could yeah rough ride so far we'll bounce back real food and a shower are just ahead Here we are. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Well, this can Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. What year is it? The current year is 2819, admitted or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7, the gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3, or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. 
It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Plants are still alive. It's like they didn't finish building it. Hello? Hi there. We're from Arc Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an arc? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Where the fuck did he come from? I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an arc to finally show up. That sentence cut off so quickly. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. 
She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Is that not what he just said? What the f The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust. And there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people. And we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. No way in hell, that's his voice. Her, her, what? I'm not more cash. What the fuck? I hope they haven't scared you off already. What the fuck? It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Hmm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me fucking show woman. You it's a fucking woman. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Here's the part of Mass Effect where I don't know where the fuck to go. You have so many goddamn missions. Like, what the fuck, man? Let's do the main mission. Who cares about the fucking side missions? Oh, but where do I go? Holy shite. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion, and mine overrules hers. Does she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way. Yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. 
Right. I think I should go check on things. I'm a guy, alright? I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? I'm a fucking guy. How am I supposed to make a planet livable? People is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. Bitch. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Something wrong? Ryder, KC, me and Sam note on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Hello, I'm Gian Garson, founder of the Initiative. It's through your hard work that the vision of the Nexus has come to life. You and all your colleagues bind our proud new colonies together. Look around at your achievements. And if you have any questions, my door is always open. Founder Garson's office is located at workspace not allocated. Please select a topic. You are Employee Rider, Salary Code 19B, Active Pathfinder. Your supervisor is Director Tan. Based on current staffing needs, you will be eligible for paid vacation time in 587 days. Seriously? <laughs> Why not plan on which beautiful colony you'll vacation on while you wait? Huh. Just Sam. Sam. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Samnode. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Sam, if we're going to work together, you can't keep hiding things from me. Apologies. I am simply following your father's wishes. What was he keeping secret? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious. Like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship, benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. But the human's still in charge, right? Of course. I was never intended to supplant the Pathfinder. Only to support and enhance your abilities. Good to hear. So what's the plan? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Oh. 
What the fuck is this? Really feeling the engineer. Do that. All right. Press B. Oh my God! Look at all the new shit that I have. Pathfinder, Captain Dunn said to seal your father's cabin from anyone that leaves the city. It's over. Sam? Printed books? Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. It... What's on here, Sam? Your father's personal logs. Several of them are encrypted. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. day is finally here. We're pushing off from Earth. We'll jump through a few relays first, then we hunker down for the long trip across dark space. It's daunting thinking about all the hopes and dreams aboard the Hyperion. I certainly have my own. I wasn't the husband or father I should have been. Here's hoping 600 years can change a man. Sam? This is a reminder about Dr. Liara to Sony. She's an Asari archaeologist I corresponded with a few years back. She's got experience studying ancient cultures. Make sure the team gets her research. Could be useful in Andromeda. Pretty sure my sister's mentioned Dr. Tassoni. An expert on Protheans, I think. I have loaded Dr. Tassoni's research onto data pads. Hello, Alec. This is Dr. Tassoni. I'm flattered you contacted me. Most scientists dismiss my work, but I'm young, and Asari, and they are getting older. So we will see who has the final word. <laughs> In uh -oh. the meantime, I'm happy to- My dad's a fucking stud! I hope your team finds it useful. Alright, I hope there's another message. Hello, Alec. I received your message. I must say, the thought of exploring another galaxy has my head spinning. I am fuck? honestly not sure how people could survive a trip like that. And anyway, I could not bear to leave the Milky Way behind. There is so much about the Protheans I still hope to learn here. So much potential wisdom to tap. I wish you much good luck and future success. Dunn's agreed to a scouting mission on Habitat 7. I'm gearing up now. I'm worried about Sarah. Dr. Tapera says she'll be fine, but she's my daughter. How can I not worry? I hate to leave her like this. It's these moments when you wish you told your children you love them more often. Or ever. Which brings me to the tough part. Kids, if anything happens to me, there are things you're going to find out. I hope you'll understand. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking my memory array may enable it. That log is not currently accessible. Unlocking Might my actually memory array kill myself. may enable it. Encrypted, so... No thanks. Yes. I am Dr. Liara Tassoni, and I've spent several decades researching... <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like.
your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early Alliance service. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Oh, that's the dinner. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Via? Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. <sighs> Alec? Ellen. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. You can't fix cancer. Wow. Hearing mom again. I never knew that's how dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. I would hope so. Mom's life was worth fighting for. It would seem his obstinance extended to me as well. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. father's personal logs. Amazing how life can change in an instant. Suddenly my career doesn't matter. This incredible woman I've been married to all these years. She's facing the end. All I think about are the times I wasn't there for her. Well, that's going to change. It occurs to me that Sam might be more than I ever imagined. When studying a dead race, the most obvious problem is the lack of an observable population. This raises the question, when is a species truly extinct? The Prothean civilization spanned the galaxy, and it took centuries to confirm that all... <laughs> Walk away.
nightmare. It's not right. It's not fair. What's wrong? Oh my, you're... So it's true. A Pathfinder has found us. There's hope at last. Maybe you could help. You're impartial. This whole thing has gotten so political. My husband, he's locked up and slated for exile for a crime he didn't commit. What exactly was he convicted of? They don't exile you for petty theft. Well, maybe this bunch would. They say it's murder. They're calling him the first murderer in Andromeda, but the dead man was his friend. He wouldn't have. There are witnesses and evidence, but it's all circumstantial. At worst, it was an accident. His name is Nilkin Rensis. He could give you the details if you were willing to speak with him. Please. I'd be happy to. Oh, thank you. I'm sure the jailer will allow you a visit. Please, tell Nilkin I love him. Back to the goddamn ship. Go back to the goddamn ship. God. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? In final checks, looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. They call her the Tempest. His face. Like crashes. And just break, just drops like 20 feet. Kills everybody under it. Let's go take a closer look. It, right here is just like Star Trek. It's Let's just, pick it up a bit, people. We're oh, 14 man. months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it! You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest's supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Sun still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. No fucking way that's They told me he wasn't essential. But I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. <sighs> Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. Yeah. All things considered, it was an easy ask. You're bribing people. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it.
Fuck. We left our, our old ship. Went to the Citadel kind of thing. Get on a new ship. We're gonna go explore... What the fuck? Everything state-of-the-art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Plus her crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. But runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all-around wrench jockey. We call this hell... Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are fucking, below. Plenty of space up here to get Star Trek. together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. It's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. The best part. Excuse me? You're just gonna walk away? Level up. I forgot there's levels in this game. Good fucking so much shit. You like you got it, you fine. Fucking ah my What the hell? What the fuck is it? I don't even know what I'm getting. Profiles. Yeah. Achievement Jack of all trades. Three different profile types. What? Alright. Don't know what that means, but okay. People. <coughs> Auto level up, yes, please. Auto. Better head to the bridge when we're ready to go. The meeting room. You can make vid calls from the central table or just get the crew together. Huh. Huh. We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. Cool. Pathfinder. Check this toy. Seems like we're forever racing, but there's always time to check out new toys. Useful ones. Always game for new toys. This makes use of old ones, like anything you grabbed on Habitat 7. Raw minerals, tech, doesn't matter. The research station will strip that stuff down, give you options. We're on our own, for everybody else. That's what Pathfinder means now. Yeah, well, everybody should be so lucky. This tech is aces. If the best we get is what we make, still the best. Check it out. Uh. 
I don't know what any of this shit means. Research data. What? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck does that mean? I don't, I don't even fucking care anymore. Little white. Ooh. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder. Get away from Hello, me, you Jack. fucking thing. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes, I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. Hmm. So how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting <laughs> in. It's fucking <laughs> Star Trek piece of shit. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. Um... Things seem bad, but we've already beaten the odds, and we'll beat them again. Got to do a it, cringy speech. So let's show them what we got. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. Is this immediately crash? Verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. Oh my Who god. What would have been our habitat one? Two failed outposts put an end to the idea. Maybe For fuck's sake. Callo, take us in. Jesus Christ. He was so big. System Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated. You gotta be fucking kidding me. It was oh my. To be an easy first step. Until no one oh shit. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of EOS. Oh, planet to planet. There's probably like 50,000 planets in this game. For fucks. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt. Out we're running.
Why is it? Why is there even a percent melee damage right there? What? Yeah, I guess. I don't. Suiting up. Ready, Freddy. Hope we're all that ready. Get it. Callum. Get it. All right. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multi-sensory neural collation. Amazing. Factory Amazing. The board, spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this past than Freaking Star lights. Trek. That's all I can think about. Why is he like looking at me like that? What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. I can't blame them. The hell? They expected a golden world. Instead, they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Oh, oh. Sorry. You okay? I think I'm still messed up by what happened with my dad. There hasn't been much time to process it. No. I mean, I think I'm still feeling it. Like, hearing things, other than Sam. Pathfinder, the Tempest checks out. We're good. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to say that. <laughs> Probably 600 years. What do you take me for? Get off my fucking sheep. Shield holding, adjusting entry. For fuck's sake. Right. Take her down. Let's go to ears. Or <laughs> Look at all this. Look at we're in Nevada. There. Set us down at this nav point. Let's go to Las Vegas. Win some money. Got yeah, fucking desert. Was this like Mars or something? <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if it's lagging or. Okay. Like, stopped. FY. Alright, here we go. Second planet, boys and girls. How the hell do they have their helmets off? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EOS deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile encounters. Plus, no Pathfinder. Door's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. <laughs> they didn't have a pathfinder. They do now. We'll make Eos home. Bastard. It's got a cold box. That should help get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. Lockley tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. That sucks. There we go.
main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. I got a partial log, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from, from a nearby power relay tower. So we're not the only ones interested in what happened here. Let's check out this Sand relay storms, tower. Storms, radiation. What the hell was Addison thinking sending us here? The fuck? Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the... Structure up ahead. Sam? It fits the profile of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. We get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we get a line on that signal. Huh. Guess that mm -hmm. shit wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here? We thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the cat. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. No way. Okay. Oh I'll enable God. the generators out there. Whatever. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Expect trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. This analysis provides us with important generator interface possible. Location marked. Part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. A really, Ryder? We've got company. is ready for activation, Pathfinder. It's inoperable, Pathfinder. Too long in this environment without... You took down all those cat? Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? 
Shuttles aren't fun in these winds. You need wheels. I think they kept a little something in storage. I'll take another look around the outpost. Just finding it won't be enough. Hope you're smarter than we were. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Go on. We'll take it from here. I guess Crazy Blue has to buy her parts from someone else. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now, right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right it's worth investigating. Here, here. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site 1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, we better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now the power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here, too. We're not scavenging anymore. This is how we rebuild. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. The research station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering the required components. All this stupid bullcrap that I don't know how to use. Like. Do anything though. Oh, yeah. Good. What? What I'm supposed to scan it in? Special requisition all terrain scout rover. A nomad, six wheel drive, jump jets, just what you need. I might be drooling a little bit. This must be what Clancy meant. The crate requires an access code from a forward station. Forward stations act as emergency resupply checkpoints. Several are currently in orbit. I can call one down. Let's find a good spot. Activating automated forward station deployment. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad. Crate access code.
I'm gonna get in this car. End it for tonight. I'm so tired right now. What if I just ran over somebody? That guy just appeared out of nowhere. Alright. Let me get in this thing. We're gonna end it here. We're gonna go outside. The Nomad should handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? Report. Oh my god, I can jump. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. That's it. For tonight. I'll pick it up tomorrow, maybe. Or I'll play something else. Or I might just kill myself. So. Good night, y'all.